something a little different uh, we're going to make or fabricate a survival shelter it's lightweight easy to carry and could possibly save your life one day I hope you don't have to use it but if you do um, it's something small you can carry with you that will hopefully mitigate some cold temperatures it is getting colder right now so you might want to think about it but uh, without further ado uh, some of the components I have here obviously a hammer and these are tent stakes. These are the inexpensive tent stakes you can buy. The Coughlin, I think it is, Coughlin's, Walmart. Very cheap, I think they're under a dollar a piece. This is some cordage, uh, five pitch cord. You'll need a grommet maker. Um, I got this at Harbor Freight Tools. Uh, it was pretty inexpensive. Again, trying to keep this on the cheap. It's pretty inexpensive, um, extremely useful. Some duct tape. Uh, this is Gorilla Tape. Uh, it's good tape, so I use this. And the key ingredient in all this is an emergency thermal blanket. And this one I got off of Amazon. It's the Campizo Emergency Blankets. It came in a pack of either four or five. I think it's four. Anyway, that's what we're going to be using today. So stand by and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, first thing you want to do is obviously take the space blanket out. <clears throat> and this thing has got a weird fold to it. It's a big Z. And... I have a feeling that once you unroll it, at least for me, I've had trouble with this. Once I unroll it, it's not gonna be going back together probably. Okay, once you get this sucker uh, unfolded, again, it's kind of interesting. Um, what you do is you go up here, take some of your duct tape, and find the end of it. Get your little square of duct tape. Okay, put it on one corner or wherever you want the grommet, put it on there, get you another piece, about the same size, fold it over, you should be able to see. And the interesting thing about this thermal blanket, you would think it's pretty, pretty cheap and pretty weak, but it's actually pretty strong. It feels like Christmas paper, but it's a hell of a lot stronger. Okay, you can use a wood table like this, or you can use the little piece that came underneath it to uh, strike. Find where you want the hole. Put it on there. Take your hammer. Make a hole. I kind of rock it back and forth to make sure it goes in there. Now you can see the hole. You can see how well it worked. Okay. Now, I'm not going to show you each hole. So, that's the idea. And I'm going to go ahead and do the other ones, and we'll get back to, uh, to you in a second. Okay, well, you know, you can do all four corners on this. Um, I like to do, and I haven't done it yet, and I'm not going to show you that because you get the idea. I go halfway down the long end, and then, of course, the four corners. So I guess it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six holes. You can do more if you want. Actually, I think I did one in the middle here, too. I did, so that's eight total. Middle in the long way and middle in the short way, or short length of it, I should say. Okay, how this works is, you have this little die right here. You have a male portion of the grommet. And forgive me if some of you guys know how to do this already. So, you have a male portion, you have a female portion. Right? So, you stick that die inside, put the male portion from the underside, put the female portion on top, put this little thing to seed it right here and you just pound it and there's your grommet pretty easy right it's actually pretty simple okay anyway you keep doing that for as many grommets as many holes as you want and the idea of course behind the tapes that reinforces this section 
so it won't tear away. And I actually have one I made already that's out in the woods. So we're going to go check that out here pretty quick. And you can kind of get an idea what I'm talking about. Okay, here we go. Here's what I did. I did this uh, actually yesterday. Or maybe it was the day before. Anyway, it's been out in the woods. And it's holding up great. And again, Prusik nut right here. Just tighten that up. And yes, I did put the hole in the center there. So you have a total of eight holes. And the idea behind this, it'll keep the rain. Um, it'll protect you from some wind. Because it's a thermal blanket. The inside has the Mylar heat reflecting coating. That's the production director. She's always in my business. But you get the idea. Crawl under there, make it as high as you want. Make it as uh, narrow as you want. Um, but again, just some cordage from one side to the other. And tie that up and then stake it down. And again, we're using those little Walmart stakes, which as you can see, little Walmart stakes. You can adjust it as necessary. And uh, this one's green because, you know, I like green. And you can get orange, you can get all kinds of colors, you can use it for signaling. But anyway, that hopefully will give you a better overnight. If this was longer, and this is one of the longer ones I found, I would actually put a grommet over here and I would actually try to close it in a little bit more. But this one is seven by five, and that's one of the bigger ones I've, I've seen. So if you guys know one that's bigger, please put it in the comments because I'd like to get one that's longer and wider. But anyway, you saw how small it packs up to. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video. You, you get the idea, it's about thinking. Again, the most important survival tool is the one you have that, that your hat's wearing, you know, your hat's sitting on top of, your brain. So think about it. Um, foster some thought on it and we'll see you next time on the channel until then have a great day ride safe do something nice for somebody and cheers GoPro.